got it. Happy Halloween, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Stock Report, brought to you by QualityStocks.net. Performance track daily. I'm Brooke Van Leer, and for Tuesday, October 31st, we're bringing you the latest news from around the markets, as well as the top movers to look out for today. In our headline news, MetLife, one of the nation's biggest insurance companies, said Monday third quarter profits rose 34.6% as the company earned higher revenues from premiums and fees. New York-based MetLife reported that net income available to common shareholders increased to $1.29 per share from $0.97 cents per share in a year earlier. Revenue rose $12.5 billion from $11.9 billion the previous year. The company also authorized using $716 million to resume its share repurchase program in the fourth quarter. Shares of MetLife rose $0.24 cents to $58.90 on the New York Stock Exchange Monday. Clear Channel Communications, which is examining whether to sell all or parts of itself, said Monday third quarter earnings fell 9.5%, but the largest operator of radio stations in the country eked out higher than expected profits and revenues. Clear Channel said net income fell $185 million for the three months ending September 30th from $205 million last year. Shares of Clear Channel fell 23 cents to close yesterday at $34.47. In small cap news, Future Cars Incorporated started Monday off with an amazing 250% gain. Previously at two cents, Future Cars finished up the trading day at seven cents with over seven with over four million shares traded. Future Cars engages in the rental and leasing of automobiles in the United States. Its service offerings are designed to meet the the needs of subprime credit sectors seeking automobiles. Financial Commerce Network saw a 170% gain at the close of the market yesterday. The Financial Commerce Network engages in the securities brokerage and investment banking business. The company offers order execution, block trading, and investment banking services. In addition, FCN, through its website, provides concierge services such as hotel reservations, theater, concerts, and sports tickets. The company finished the trading day at 96 cents. Cyber Key Solutions Board of Directors announced yesterday they have approved a stock buyback program of up to $1 million of its common stock over the next 180 days. The program allows the company to repurchase its shares at its discretion. CyberKey is partners with the industry-leading manufacturer and distributor to deliver secure USB drive-based solutions. The company closed out yesterday with over 72 million shares traded. Petroleum Consolidators of America saw a nice 36% gain yesterday on no new news to report. The development stage company started the trading day at 60 cents and closed up at 82 cents. Petroleum Consolidators of America is a company focused on land acquisition, ownership, and operations of retail gas stations. Shall Better Industries saw gains Monday on no new news to report. Starting the day at 65 cents, the stock shot up 52% to finish out at 99 cents, with 300,000 shares traded. Shall, Shall Better Industries is a publicly traded mining company engaging in the acquisition, exploration, and potential development of mineral properties in outer Mongolia. And that's it today for our newsmakers. Be sure to join us every market day for the latest market commentary from small cap to large cap and everything in between. Brought to you by QualityStocks.net. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Brooke Van Leer. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. You've got it.